takeaway because you know like it was my first one and i kind of like i missed last year by like a month or two you know so my biggest takeaway was while watching everybody everybody's got the story of like struggle and like kind of what i learned from everybody's story was that like a bunch of those people that are crushing it now are building big agencies and everything and just kind of got out of their own way you know because this business is totally you versus you that was one of my biggest takeaways because like I've been struggling with that since I started, right? Like you get in your head and you're like all this doubt and everything. So everybody's story up there was like, everybody kind of went through the same thing, right? And I feel like, like hearing everybody's story, like nobody's special. None of those guys are special. None of those guys were rock star salespeople or, you know, uh, you know, Instagram influencers or anything like that. They were just people that just decided to get out of their own way and worked really, really hard and it stayed disciplined. You know, they, they got rid of all their bad habits, you know. Uh, Dave Anderson, back to him again, you know, he, he was actually my favorite dude, you know, because he was actually talking about like some real, some real stuff, you know, that everybody I think could implement in whatever business they do, right? In their everyday life, like dominate the day, not snoozing. When he said, dude, like people snooze in the morning, those are broke people. Dude, that like, <laughs> That just like hitting you like it's so hard. I haven't snoozed since like since I got back. So I'm like, dude, he's so right. Like broke people hit the snooze button, right? So that's one thing that I'm really implementing in my personal life is just dominate that first part of the day. I went and cleaned my car. I don't know if you guys remember that part, but I'm like, dude, he's right. Like you can't have, you know, a dirty car and everything. So uh, basically uh, my biggest takeaway was getting out of your own way. It's you versus you. And you got to keep your mind right, you know, and then do the work basically is kind of my, my biggest. Yeah, no, I think, I think you're thing that I, I took away from everybody else. Everybody just works really, really hard, man. And, you know, that, that's it. That's, that's really yeah. the, the, ma the magic here. There's no special juice. So there's no special um, way of going about this business. It's just putting in the work and putting in the hours. And the only difference between somebody who's selling at a high level and someone who's getting by is the amount of effort and time and focus that they're putting in and also being uh, open to constructive coaching. I mean, the people who were up on stage speaking, you better believe that they were humble enough to ask for help. They, they kept humility to understand that they, they weren't as good as they think they are and they gotta keep redefining their skills and keep continuously um, sharpening their iron. And you're gonna hear that from most of the people that I'm gonna talk to today is just like, it's, it's all about you. It's not about the leads, it's not about um, it's not about the, the products. It's, it's not about anything other than you and, and you deciding to take massive action, massive action. And one thing that Austin Hatch kept, kept uh, reiterating is taking massive action. And if you guys haven't heard his story, it was absolutely incredible to hear um, him survive two plane crashes and, you know, uh, not getting stuck in a wheelchair and playing basketball at the University of Michigan. And it was all because it was a choice. He was driven to prove everybody wrong. He was driven to make his dream come true. And so whatever your dreams are, what are you gonna be willing to, to, to give up to get there? Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna be able to get to where you wanna go without giving up some things that are just not money-making activities. So I appreciate you sharing, uh, Moises.